moto ¿no? Hey guys, Ak Jelly Bean here. So today I am traveling and it is like 12 p.m. This is, uh, we don't usually leave on the plane in the afternoon, we usually leave in the morning. So this is different. It's a little bit more relaxing than having to wake up at like 3 or 4 a.m. I got to wake up at a glorious 8 or 9 this morning. So I feel very rested and we had time to eat we usually do have time to eat like a little snack but this time we had like leftovers so i had some rice and then we packed everything in the in the trunk already we cleaned the house yesterday which was excruciating because it was very hot yesterday and now the weather wants to be petty today when we're leaving because it is cloudy and rainy which is my favorite type of weather but it's okay though it's all right but anyways, this is my fit. It's very comfortable. I have my t-shirt with Naruto on it and some gray leggings and some slides. This is a typical outfit for me to wear on the plane. And we're gonna be on the plane for about like 14 or so hours in total because it's a non-stop, it's not a non-stop flight. So I'm gonna be very comfortable. So anyways, we're on the road now to the airport. It's about two hours away. And this time I'm able to stay up with my mom because it's not too early. Usually I fall asleep and well, she sort of needs company when driving early in the morning for that long. So here I am all awoken and whatnot. There's my mom over there. <laughs> and my brother's in the back. But anyways, um, more on the flight. We have to make a stop in Qatar. And I'm pretty intrigued about this because that's where Dubai is. And as far as I know, that's, that's what I call the rich people. So I hope I see some cool things in the airport. I don't know. But um, as you can tell by the title, I am traveling to Ghana. going to his home and this is my uh, fifth time going I didn't remember the first time I went because I was a youngling I was like two yeah I was about two but the other times I remember clearly because that next time uh, it was like 2008 so I was almost seven and then we went in 2012 and then we went twice in 2017 which is the last time that I went also I should mention that my dad is already in Ghana. He went like a week and a half ago or so. So he's there waiting for us. Um, the reason he's there so early is because my mom and brother had to get their passports and visas situated and renewed. So we're waiting on that. But yeah. Okay guys, so we're chilling at our gate. That was a very long walk to get to. I just did my business in the bathroom because that was a long car ride. Anyways, yeah, we're sitting here. We're supposed to be boarding like around now, but they haven't called us up yet. So, yeah, I'm just trying to hurry up. I'm tired. And they have this food area over there, but the line is long as cheeks. So, yeah. On the way to my seat. Okay, so I have sat down in my seat and the rest of us are right here as well and they gave us a little pack with like a mask, gloves and sanitizer and then some headphones of course and an actually pretty thick blanket for being in economy class. Got the TV too with the remote area and you know the tray. So, they told us that the plane is delayed by an hour for departure and there's a kid sitting behind me, so it's going to be a long, long flight. Okay, so here's snack time with some pretzels and I got some water. Okay, so 
So for dinner, I got some type of chicken with rice. And then, I'm not sure what this is, but I think it's a salad. And then this is some sort of warm bread. And then some sort of dessert. I think it's pudding or so, or yogurt. I think it's pudding or custard. And then some water and some orange juice. Okay, so we got off the plane not too long ago. We had to wait for our gate to be revealed on the flight information uh, screen. And this, this airport is really big, like really big. And there's so many people, like uh, so many people in this area. I know it's an airport, but like even, even the uh, at Atlanta, the Jackson Airport isn't that filled with people, at least not when I go. This is like people. But anyways, we're walking to our gate. I'm going on the cool little thing. Whee! There's a very big stuffed animal over there in this massive area. They got some very expensive cars over there. You can see this blue one. Okay, so now we're on a train and this looks really cool. It's like the first floor and this is the train. Just got off the train, there's a statue. I'm going down the escalator. There's the ceiling. And then over there, you'll see it once I get on the escalator. So over there is some type of spiral gold pearl thing. And the rest of the airport. Okay, so we have boarded the plane and they look really pretty. Those seats look like burgundy and stuff, but they're, they're pretty. But um, anyways, this flight is supposed to be like seven hours. We had to carry our carry-ons upstairs because they didn't have like the walkway from the airport to the plane. We had to walk up the stairs to get into it or whatever. But yeah, it's really hot and I'm tired. Here's what the TV looks like on this plane. The rest of the fam. And then they gave us headphones. And I don't know what's in this, but it might be masks or something. And, and another blanket, but I don't think it's as... I think it's the same. I think it's also thick like the last one. Okay, so for breakfast, I got a peach cake. They had omelets like what my brother got, or frittata, I mean, but I didn't want that because, I don't know, I just thought it, it would make my stomach feel weird. And there's a little croissant, and I think some yogurt, and some fruits, and some butter, and some juice. Okay, so we got off the plane. They just checked our COVID vaccine cards. Okay, so we gotta fill out these immigration uh, cards. And my mom's doing her stuff right now, just waiting on a pin. Okay, so I finished filling out that form and they're gonna check that and our yellow fever vaccines. Okay, so we're gonna get our bags and I guess someone that works here is gonna help us out with this cart because we got a lot of bags. But there's the bag is claim and I hope they get out fast. The last time we had to come back because they couldn't fit all the luggage on the plane. Okay, so we got our bags. And the guy that was helping us asked us for a, a little compensation for his assistance. Unfortunately, we do not have money of this currency. 
and we don't really have much, you know, physical cash on hand. So we're gonna give him a couple of coins, but he said that was all right. Okay, so now they're gonna check our stuff. To make sure we don't got anything suspicious like food or stuff okay so now we're actually heading out this is where usually people stand and wait for those to pick them up and stuff there's the man now <laughs> welcome, welcome. we got our old car here that my dad had taken over here. Haven't seen it in a couple years now. Looks beautiful. Got the men loading the car here. Okay, so in the streets they sell things like essentials. There's tissue over there, water over there. So we stopped at this gas station to see if we want to get something. Okay. So they got plantain chips and other stuff. I haven't had these before. I think I've had these. But plantain chips are really good. Highly recommend them. And then some like tea bread and stuff. And Nutella. Love Nutella. Doop -a -doop. And then like their most popular brand of ice cream. There's like fan ice. So fan ice is like the vanilla one and then fan yoga is like ice cream yogurt yogurt ice cream or so this is the vanilla one this is fan yoga purple not purple but pink flavor and then there's fan ice the chocolate one they got one of my favorite brands of noodles the shin noodles so that's pretty cool then they got this popular brand of noodles I'm gonna get one of these juice boxes. They're really good. I forgot which one I like. I think I'll get the pineapple. Then they got other juices, of course, and drinks. And then here's some more snacks that some of you might be familiar with. Haribo's popular gummy bear brand. And then these are really good. Oh, these are familiar, uh, the Welch's fruit snacks. Milo is really good, but it gives me the runs, but you should definitely try it. Okay, so this is all we're getting before we go back to the house. Just some snacks and stuff. Okay, so we made it to the house. Oh, my dad's opening the gate, which is pretty common for houses here to have gates. And here's the house. Okay guys, so we're in the house and we stopped and got some breakfast on the way. So this is called cocoa and there's usually sugar in it. So it's either <laughs> corn flour or yucca root flour or cassava flour. We're gonna do it this way. Oh. And you can eat it out of this bag or you can put it in a bowl or a cup. We have been supplied with bowls. So I'm gonna pour it. <laughs> I'm gonna pour it into the bowl. Okay, so I'm going to dip the bread in. And it sort of describe what it tastes like. It has like a oh, spice. Like it's spicy but not spicy. It's like it's that type of spice that tickles the back of your mouth. And then this bread tastes like there's sugar in it. So it's a nice contrast. Okay guys, so it is several years... Okay guys, so it's several hours later. I took a nap after I ate breakfast, and then uh, we woke up, and then, you know, took a shower, and then me and my mom started making dinner. But tomorrow, me and my mom are supposed to be getting our hair done by a family friend. She's been doing our hair every time we come down to Ghana for quite a few years now. Um, that's all the plans that I know we have for tomorrow. My brother and my dad might be doing something else because it takes pretty much the whole day for both me and my mom to get our hair done. And we're getting like, you know, uh, hairstyles with added hair, like feed in braids or individual braids. It's that type of getting our hair done, which is why my hair has been in these 
uh, braids for the whole trip because I didn't want my hair to shrink. It's blow dried. So I'm trying to keep it as straight as possible. But yeah, that's the plans for tomorrow. And I'm glad the day is over because I'm finna head to sleep. Because we have to get up pretty early tomorrow. So there's that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And yeah, night. <laughs>